Welcome back to Just Scribble. I wanted to share a fountain pen that I got in February with you. It is a limited edition Bennu pen and then fill it up with some ink that I think will be a good match for it that I got from Band Demons. So I'm going to start out just by swatching this ink. I've actually swatched it in a video before, but I thought it would be nice before we checked out the pen if we saw the ink, so we could double check that it's a good match. The ink that I'm swatching is from the Van Diemen's Night Collection. It is called Cherry Blossom Dream. We're just going to swatch it out. Ooh, drops on my Tomoe River paper pad so we can see what it looks like once it's dry. And then while that's drying, we're gonna check out my pen. So this is a Bennu Talisman in Wild Rose. This was a limited edition pen that they launched in February. This is the little paper about it. It has a little write-up about the inspiration. And then this talks a little bit about the pen itself, that it is the Wild Rose pen, that it is attributed to love and passion, that it was a Valentine's special edition, and that they were limited to 300 pens only. Then in here, I have my limited warranty card, and it did come with a cartridge, and then also a converter, which is in the pen. So we're going to slip out my pen. I am so in love with this pen. I am not really a pink girl. However, this pen is so bright and so fun and just such a cool color pink. And I absolutely love hearts. And it has these adorable heart sparkles in the pen, in both the cap and then also the base of the pen. It is numbered. You can see that this is number 138 out of 300. And this is a fine nib. There's the nib. Now I have, I guess this is my fifth Bennu pen and the Talisman and the Euphoria pens are my favorites, partly because they have clips and I really like a pen with a clip. It just stays better in my notebooks with my planners and my journals, but also they fit really nicely in my hand and they're comfortable to write with. So I really like the design aesthetic of them, but also how they feel when I write. But I am not, I would say, the biggest fan of their nibs. Their nibs are perfectly fine. There's just nothing really special about their nibs and they are generally very wet and they write quite broadly. So their broad writes kind of like a wet marker. Their medium writes more like a broad. And then this one I got is a fine and I'm hoping because I'm using a lighter colored ink, this nib will actually write closer to fine or to a medium fine but I expect that it'll probably write closer to a medium. But there's nothing super special about their nibs. They just write nice and wet. There's no line variations or special uniqueness about their nibs, but they are a number six nib and you can change them out. So I'm actually planning on ultimately changing out the nibs in some, if not all of my Talisman and Euphoria nibs with a more specialty nib. So either a stub nib or an architect nib or a journaler or scribe nib from Esterbrook or something like that. But for now, I just have the standard nibs on there. And then in here, I have the converter. It's just a standard international converter. You twist the back to suck in or push out the ink or water. So I'm gonna put it all the way down in the down position. We're gonna put it in the ink, twist clockwise, fill it with ink, and then we will do a little bit of a writing sample just so I can show you guys how this pen writes. I do think that this ink is gonna be really pretty with this pen. It's not quite as fluorescent as this pen is, but I didn't want a fluorescent pink ink. And I think that this is a really pretty pink. So we are going to ink it up with this gorgeous cherry blossom ink. Put my 
Leon. And that just seats back in there like that. Screw it on like that. And it will take a minute for the ink to travel down the feed to speed that process up. You can let your pen sit upside down for just a few minutes and gravity will just help pull it down the feed. You can also kind of swirl it in your hand like this and that will speed it up. Some pens are super fast for the ink to travel down the feed. Some seem like they're snail's pace. So if you have a snail's pace pen, just kind of swirl it. Do not shake it. That will cause inks and blurps and spurts and all of the things but just kind of swirl it in your hand lightly like this and the gravity and the swirling will speed that process up. As you can see, it's still sort of making its way down the feed. And as it gets fully down, Sorry about my kiddo in the other room. The ink will get a little bit darker, but it's gonna be a lot lighter than it is here because my automatic pen lays down so much ink and this fine nib is not gonna lay down as much ink. But this is a Bennu Talisman, limited edition. This is my first fine, I think. In the Bennu. I think most of my other ones are broads and mediums. This nib is a much better size for me for like everyday writing, journaling, and things like that. It's a fine nib and then we added Van Diemen's. I'm also standing to film. I'll be so excited when my studio is done and I can share it with you guys and I can sit to film makes better handwriting, but also better angle for writing. So I will get some shading in this ink, in this nib, but not a lot. If I were to put it into a stub nib, like on one of my Twisby Ecos, then I would get a lot more of the shading with this ink in a stub nib. But even with this nib being a fine, or what I would consider to be a medium fine, I am getting some shading. So we're gonna let this ink dry for just a second so I can show you what it looks like dry and then we will check it out and we will finish up. So the ink is pretty much dry so I thought we would check it out so you can see the sample that I did with my automatic pen and then you can see the writing with my Bennu. I think this is a good ink for this pen. It's nice and soft and romantic, perfect for my wild rose love inspired pen. And I just absolutely love this pen. I just wanted to share my new Benno with you guys because I hadn't had a chance to share it with you guys since I got it in February and it is so pretty and ink it up with some ink. I do have some videos on Van Diemen inks, so I will definitely put links to that in the cards up above. And I do have some other Bennu pen videos as well. So I'll put links to those as well so you guys can check them out. If you have any questions about this pen or the ink, please don't hesitate to comment below and I will definitely get back with you. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.